Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ollie and today I'm going to be talking about my unpopular opinions, which I didn't think I had that many, but once I started writing them down, they just kept on coming. I don't know if they're all unpopular opinions, but they're just my opinions, which I think some people might not like and some people might disagree with. If it offends you, I'm really sorry. This video feels like I'm different. Do you know what I mean? Which isn't the point. This is probably the most controversial video I hope I ever have to make. Now it's quite fun to see what people think and if people agree, disagree and whatnot. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. Number one, I like the word. So many people are about to click off. I like the word moist. I think I like the water so much, it kind of makes me feel nice. Every single person I know cannot stand that word. And I don't understand why, but I love that word personally. But it's like one of my favorite words, along with bubbles. Number two is alcohol is boring and a waste of time, which is very unpopular, especially with my age group. Like, I understand you can have fun nights out and stuff, but you don't need alcohol to have fun. I enjoy it at a night out, kind of. I get a bit bored. It's a waste of money, it's a waste of time. Another boring one, roller coasters. They are so boring. I literally sit on roller coasters like, I uh, just, I don't like it. Plus, I think that is also, I get dizzy and feel sick very easily. And it actually came from one time I was on a roller coaster. I'm not gonna say where, I'm not gonna say which one. Don't wanna get sued. But I was on a roller coaster and it gave me whiplash. I am 100% sure I got whiplash from that. And ever since then, my brain has just been dizzy. Long distance relationships aren't hard if it's with the right person, personally. Like, you miss them, but it's not hard. The distance itself shouldn't break up a relationship. Winter is better than summer. And this is because, you know what, the whole ember months, so September, October, November, December are my favorite time of the year. I like hot chocolate. I like blankets. I like cozy nights in. In summer, there's no coziness. It's just sweat and flies. Winter is 10 times better than summer. Plus Christmas and Halloween. Hello. So this is coming from a vegan point of view, but I thought this before I was vegan anyway, and it's cheese and bacon are the most overrated foods in the world. Like every time someone finds out they're vegan, they go, what about cheese? What about bacon? And I'm like, really? I mean, I liked them. I, I ate them before I was a vegan and they were nice. They were never fat for me for not being vegan. For me, it's Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, the next one, which I don't think is an unpopular opinion, but I think some people are still sitting in the ways where it's wrong. And it's guys can wear makeup or nail varnish or anything. That one kind of ties in with fashion has no gender as well for me personally. Like, I think the title of that one would be like, gender isn't relevant. Gender roles and gender, this is for boys, this is for girls. To me, it doesn't even cross my mind. I don't, my brain doesn't even register things like that. I think this one is quite a big debate. And personally, if you ever wanted to go for pizza with me, you won't after this. So number one is pineapple on pizza. I know it's like the most common one ever, but I love pineapple on pizza. And two, I love barbecue based pizza. Everyone says it's like sickly. Barbecue pizza is amazing. So the next one, I don't know if this is unpopular anymore. You know what, I think it's a trend to dislike this boy. And I just want to say, James Charles, one is hilarious. Two, he seems like the nicest guy ever. Three, he's literally 21. And look at the house he's got, look at the brand he's got, look at what he's done for himself at the age of 21. He lost like so many followers and subscribers. And look at his balance back now like hello i think he's quite memeable he's such a meme person and he's aware of that and he takes he laughs at the fact that he's a meme himself people who can laugh at themselves are amazing his business head and his talent for makeup and everything is just phenomenal and i think people only hate on james charles because it's a trend okay so this next one again food related again nutella overrated as anything. When people have Nutella sandwiches and Nutella on toast, what? Nutella on toast is like the driest, most most overrated thing in the world and I just don't understand the hype. Oh, another chocolate thing. Chocolate cake, nasty as anything else that is nasty. Chocolate cake is sickly and it's just gluggy and it, every time I've ever had chocolate cake, I've been like, oh, look at this, it's so chocolate. Ooh, yeah, ooh, dead nice, fun. I have one mouthful, I'm like, Bleh. need to go lie down for a bit. It gives me headaches. Next one, how do people actually like drum and bass music like how can you have fun to drum and bass but it's like personally i don't i can't fathom that i say that all i listen to is like 2000s pop princess albums but hey is this an unpopular opinion or is this just a fact this is a fact people care way too much about other people's business and what's going on in their lives and cut it out focus on yourself oh so this next one which i don't understand where this whole thing even started but i love playing food like one of the best things about going on holiday for me is being on the plane and part of that is the food. Me and George went to, on holiday and I had a lasagna on the plane and chips and it was amazing. And I love those snack boxes you get, which I can't have anymore because I'm vegan. But like I used to get the snack boxes which came with like crackers and cheese and like a little biscuit. And, and when I've been on long haul flights, food's always amazing. Like it's such good food. I don't understand how people don't like plain food and why it's like, uh, 
plain food. No, give me more. Like, so for me, this next one is important. And what eating and having food is not on a clock. I just, no, I will eat when I want to eat. Like everyone I know will have dinner at like five o'clock. They'll have lunch at 12 o'clock, I'll have breakfast at nine o'clock and snack or whatever. Yeah. I don't understand that. Like if I'm not hungry at that time and I'm not gonna eat, and if I am hungry at like 3 a.m., well, yeah, I'll go and get a bagel and a brew because I'm hungry. My body wants food. My body doesn't like to live on a clock. My body likes to live however it wants and whenever it wants. Oh, this one is actually only something that I learned three years ago. And ever since I learned this, my life changed and it's gherkins belong on a burger. Not by fast food junk rubbish, which isn't even a burger, okay? When you get an actual burger with an, a an actual gherkin on, not like some fake one, phenomenal, amazing. Adds flavor, adds texture, adds taste, adds a little bit of spice, you know? It gherkins belong on burgers. I'm a burger boy, I love a good burger. Okay, and this one, I, th I don't think it's unpopular, but again, a lot of them do it and I can't fathom it. Smoking and drugs, no, it's so unattractive. Like, why would you want to do that to your body? Why would you want to risk your health? I'll actually put on my notes, smoking and drugs, then this emoji. Because that's how it makes me feel. Get out. You're not cool. It's not impressing anyone. Please don't do drugs or smoke kids. Okay, and the final one is there's a difference between being like a bad bitch and just being rude, okay? Too many people don't understand that. Like, just stop being rude to people. If you want to be like a little bad bitch, you go off. You do you. But don't be rude. Actually, you know, this is the final one. I've just thought it off the top of my head. People who do not stack their plates or collect their plates or glasses on the table when you're in a restaurant to help that server out, no. Like, just help them out. And that's all. I actually can't lie. I feel list has a lot more on what I've just said. However, I was like, one, I might save it for a part two, or I might just chuck the rest on TikTok. So go to this account and follow me if you want to potentially see a semi-part two. So that was today's video. So let me know down below if you agree, disagree, or if you've got unpopular opinions. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed and subscribe to my channel to see more from me because I post every Thursday and Sunday at four o'clock. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next Thursday with another video. Thank you.